I shall begin with an example from the prosthetics industry. Amputees are often disappointed at the high cost of buying and maintaining their prosthetic devices. There are designs of prosthetic hands created uh, by geographically distributed communities of scientists, designers and enthusiasts. All knowledge, software and designs related to the manufacturing of such hands are shared around the globe as digital commerce. Therefore, anyone with an interconnection and with uh, access to local manufacturing technologies such as a low-cost 3D printer can customize and build such a hands. Another example, small-scale farmers rarely find appropriate machinery to support their work. So a community of small-scale farmers in France has designed and manufactured its own agricultural machines. This community shares its designs with the world as a global digital commerce. Another community from the US has done the same. These two communities have connected and created synergies by improving the same digital commerce. So the aim of this project is to explore an emerging mode of production that builds on the convergence of digital commons with local manufacturing technologies. Such technologies can be found in places such as makerspaces or fab labs. This emerging mode of production can be understood as DGML, Design Global, Manufacture Local. Put simply, DGML follows the logic that what is light, knowledge, becomes global and what is heavy, machinery, is local and shared. This allows for the consideration of the scarcities posed by finite resources and for organizing the production according to participant-defined value systems. The claims for the sustainability, democratization and innovation potential of Design Global Manufacture Local, DGML, rest on thin conceptual and empirical foundations. The first objective is to explore the environmental sustainability of DGML. What is the ecological footprint of a, of a product that has been globally designed and locally manufactured vis-à-vis -a, -vis a similar product of conventional industrial production? The second issue is about the organizational and cultural landscape of DGML projects. What are the governance mechanisms, the values and the business models of such projects? Third, we will explore the DGML innovation systems by asking what can the state and the market learn in order to build inclusive institutions for commons-based innovation. Cosmolocalism comes partly from cosmopolitanism. Cosmopolitanism asserts that all human beings belong to a single community based on a shared morality and a shared future. Cosmolocalism captures the potentials of the global digital commons in conjunction with the capacity for more localized manufacturing. In all, cosmolocalism will advance our understanding of how to create uh, a sustainable economy through the commons.